Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another tutorial. In the last tutorial, I shortly showed how to make a door with a switch trigger, how to open the door. And in this one, I want to make it a little bit more complicated, but also uh, interesting for a game than that in a way that you have to pick up a key to open the door. And we're going to use a bool function for that. And I want to shortly show you how this works. So I have the scene set up from last time. If you saw my last video, I just left the door or the gate uh, with the trigger crystal in it. Um, and what I want to do is just create another door or gate in this area. And I'm just gonna like hide the key up in the cave. And if the player goes to the gate, it will say something like it needs a key. And once it gets a key, and the player walks to the door, the door will identify that um, the player has a key and that way opens the door. So let's shortly set up um, one more gate. And I'm just going to use the gate from last time. Uh, not all of it. I actually just want to have, let's say, yeah, also the targets, the door. These are the things I actually want. I don't want these crystals or the triggers. I'm just going to copy this and call this the, the gate with key. I'm just going to drag it over. Whoops, I, no, I, unfortunately I copied some more. But let's just delete the stuff we don't really want. There you go. So we have the door in there, we have the pillars around the door, uh, the door target when it's closed. In this case, we don't really need that. We actually only want to open it once. You can actually delete this, unless you want to keep it in that the door closes. But uh, yeah, for this purpose, let's just delete it. And this time I would also then like to add a key and I created a key. Let's see how it looks. It's not so nice. I created it quite quickly. It's also way too big. Let's make it small small key now only the player can find we put it here on top we can make it float there just in the air on the key um, just gonna pull the key whoops to the door so that I know it's there always make sure you sort everything so the key is here um, just gonna add a little effect on it, uh, not an effect, I mean a light, 2D light, free form. Uh, I want to light it uh, the player. So just gonna add it to shape there a little bit, so it's small. And for some reason when I zoom in, can't really get it. There we go. So, and with lights you can do a lot of different things. Let's say make it more very super bright in height. I can have a fall off that it also say, surrounds the area. So I can change the color, but also the key itself, I could change the color, for example, to red or anything else for that matter. Let's say a dark blue. Actually, I like the white with the light, so let's leave it like that. So there's our key. On the key, we're gonna add a Let's say, let's add a circle collider 2D. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. That way the player can pick it up. And of course it's marked as a trigger. Perfect. So, that's set up. And then the gate is here. So the first thing which we want to do is set on the player, um, this, in this case Emily, we're going to actually add a finite state machine to the player. And it will have um, an easy state in which I want to check if the player has a key or not. And let's just call this as our low key. And then later we're going to make a state, something like has key. There you go. These are the two states in this um, 
in this concept. So to make this actually work, we actually need a variable, uh, which is going to be a bool. Uh, and let's also just call this our S key. I'm just going to add it here. And by default, a boolean is um, false, unless you mark this one. Um, so there's a variable. And here we can just um, add, for example, the set bool value, just to check. And by default, we're just going to look the variable has key. As you can see, it's false. If I actually change it here and mark it, value check mark it, check marked, and I go back and it, then it's true. But I want to have it false. And if I go to has key, there the bool value, I can just copy this one. I can also, of course also go again to the set bool. I'm just gonna paste it. And here we're gonna set the bool value to true. And I want something external actually to trigger this event. So I'm going to add a event, which is going to, let's say, uh, get key. Um, and this is going to be a global event. If you mark this one here, it's, it's a global event. And what I can do now here is um, add global transition, get key. And now I need, say, the key, once I touch it, to send this uh, has key event. So now let's set up the key, which then changes the bool value. Before I actually do this, I want to give this FSM a name. Let's call this the key uh, key holder. Does that make any sense? <laughs> I'm not sure. And then let's go to the key. Uh, so in the player level, we go to the key. And here we're going to add a FSM. Um, we can also just say this the key. And the first state is our usual trigger to the event. And let's just call this the trigger key event. And we're just gonna say on trigger enter, colliding with the player. And we're gonna Finish the first state, finish. And the second state should be then to change my characters or the player's FSM um, to true. Let's say give key. This can be done by adding the action set event. And event target can be a game object FSM. And we're not going to use the user. We're going to specify the game object, just dragging in the player. And the FSM name was key holder. And we're going to send the event get key. That's great. We can actually add a delay here. Uh, we can also, in this at this point, perhaps play a sound. Uh, play sound, which is nice that the person actually uh, gets a sound effect. Um, actually, let's see if I have some nice sound effect for this. Maybe I can sing something, but I'm not sure if that's so nice. Magical shimmer, how about that? That, that, that sounds nice. Audio clip, magical shimmer. And send event, we're gonna get the key, and then we're gonna add one more state. And this is removing, let's say, the key from the area. Perhaps we can actually just say, like, give it a well, no, destroy self. Perhaps I don't want to do it this right away, so we can. Add here a short wait first, a wait. I'm gonna wait, let's say three seconds, and then we're going to destroy self. But what I can also do is actually within the UI add 
the key as a picture in my screen. And that way I actually know that I have the key because of course me in the background as a game designer knows that the boolean is now true. But if you play the game, it's of course nice to have an inventory or let's say a, a picture on the screen. So let's set that up as well. Uh, first thing I want to destroy self after the wait. And what I should do is add a image to my user interface. So I can just, whoops, sorry about that. Right click here, go to UI, and then I'm just going to press image. And you see a big, white, very nice, <laughs> white image here without anything in. And this is actually your user interface. This is the screen. If you go into the game, you will see here the white box. And what I can do, I just can put it, let's say, in the top left corner. That's why I want to have it. For some reason, it doesn't put me in the right left corner. Not sure why. So I'm just going to drag it to the upper left. Not sure why it didn't do that. And then, of course, I'm just going to add the key here. And it's, of course, super huge now. I mean, this I can also, let's say, scale a little bit up. Let's say, perhaps here, 0 0.5. 0 0.5. That's, that's, that's okay. It's not really nice. I um, can also change the color here of the, of the key. But that's not really helping the case. Um, yeah, anyway, let's just leave it there. I think it's it's helpful. And what we have to do is add a canvas group. And the reason for that is that you can set in the canvas group the alpha, the alpha meaning the transparency to zero. And now it's gone. And within, let's say the key FSM, which we just made, we're just gonna set Alpha or canvas canvas group UI canvas group set alpha set alpha as a specify game object. Uh, now we have to find the image which I added. And of course, I forgot to name it just to be the key. Um, so we go back to key. It's, we're just gonna drag in. The key and we're going to set the alpha to one and let's just do the weight two and then destroy self now let's zoom in and let's actually try this out so if correct we have now a state with no key and once I go to the key, I will have the key and it will also show up in my screen. All right, let's test it. So this was the gate from last time. Open it up. Just gonna jump up. There is the key. Let's see if there any magic will happen. Bam! So you see on the FSM of the player, the key holder does have to, has the key now. Bool is set to true. And we see a key in the screen, which is great. And the next, next thing which we should set up is then if you get to the door without the key, that it should pop some, some word in the screen telling you you don't have the key. And if you have the key, if you get here, that it actually opens. And of course, you can also add a text here, but main purpose is that you get through this area. All right, so let's get on with it.